Hey everybody. I had a request from um, Arlene at My Bud Butterfly Kisses 12 and she wanted to know how I made um, the little roses out of the Prima E line using the hydrangea. And this is what the hydrangea ones look like. And that's the flower and I colored it with um, cherub pink and outlined it detailing with um, burnt red glimmer mist. So you can also do it with the other flowers. You can do it with this one using the same technique and you'll get a flower that looks like that. In this one, you'll get a flower that looks like that. In this one, and you'll get a flower that looks like that. And they're all beautiful. So let me move this out of the way and let's get started. Okay, what you're going to need is six flowers. You're going to need three large ones and three small ones. And I'm going to show you the difference here. If you color all of the flowers before you glue them together, you'll get a flower that looks like this. Because while it's wet, if you assemble it first, and while it's wet, you can kind of mold it and shape it while you're heating it with your heat gun. So I prefer to do it that way. So that's what I'm going to show you today. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is take one of the small ones and use your hot glue gun and be careful not to burn yourself. And you're just going to put a little bit of glue on the edge of one of the petals. I put too much. Oh, well. So I'm going to burn my fingers here. And you're going to glue those two petals together just on the edge. And you're going to do that all the way around. Just put a little glue and then fold the next petal over. A little glue, fold it over. A little glue and fold it over again. So basically you're making a little cup like that for the one layer. And then the other little one, you're going to take it, I got glue on my fingers, you're going to take it and you're going to make the center bud. So do it however you like. I just like to scrunch it around and squeeze it on the bottom. So it looks something like that. And put a little glue. And you're going to stick it right in here. Just hold it for a second and press down to make sure that it's secure. And then it's going to look like that. And then with the next layer, you're just going to put a little bit of glue in the center. And this is another small petal. And you're going to offset the petals and just glue it into the center. And this is so easy. And then you take the first big petal, flower, and you're going to offset again and press it down. Try to center it as good as you can. I didn't offset very well. Here we go. Okay. And then the next one. Oh, this is bugging me because it's not centered. All right. That's better now. Okay. And then the next one, you're going to do the same thing. Put a little glue. And off-center it. With the other petals. And the same thing with the last one. Very easy. And I have to give props to Marion Smith on her Ustream Prima show that she did. She showed us how to make these. So, and everything she makes is beautiful. I love her classes. Check her out on um, my, she does her own show. I believe it's, I'm not sure if it's on Monday or Tuesday on Ustream. And then on Thursday night, she does a Prima show on Ustream. You just have to look up Prima Marketing on Ustream and she starts it. Her show's at 6.30 Pacific Time, and um, it's 9.30 Eastern. 
So there's your flower. Next thing you're going to do is color it. And I'm going to use the cherub pink. And if you want a lot of glimmer, you can swirl your glimmer mist. If you don't, then you don't have to swirl it. I'm just going to swirl it a little bit because I'm going to paint on the color. So I'm going to take my big brush. And I always put my glimmer mist in a cup when I'm painting with it so I don't, if it goes to tip, it's not going to spill. And basically, you just have to lay your brush and swish it back and forth. It soaks up very fast. Okay, so now I have all my petals painted with the glimmer mist. And I'm going to move on to my next color, which is burnt red. I'm just going to give it a little swirl so I can get some of the glimmer from the bottom. Again, I'm putting it in my cup. I haven't had a spillage yet, and I don't intend on having one. I'm going to wipe my brush off, and I'm going for a smaller brush. And you're just going to take your brush and just drag it along the edges of your petals, and that way it'll give it your petals definition. And if it bleeds into the petal, don't worry. It just adds to the beauty of the flower. I'm trying to do this fast so I don't run out of time. And these two colors go very well. All the pinks, I don't know how the Viva pink might be a little too bright. But all the pinks and detail with the burnt red is beautiful. It makes it look like a real flower. Okay. Getting there. I should have had one ready. I just want to show you guys how to do it. Ooh, got a little bleedage there. It's okay. And you just literally just have to drag it along the edge with your petals. Okay, we're almost done. And the ones in the center, just try your best just to get the edges. Just two more little edges here to do. And there it is while it's still wet. Close my glimmer mist. See how much time I got. I might end up running over. Okay, and then what you're going to want to do is bleed these together. So I'm using Dazzling Diamonds. And I, you can use water too if you want. And I'm just going to give it two squirts. And then I'm going to grab my heat gun. And I'm probably not going to be able to show it to you totally dry because I'm going to run out of time. I'm trying to do this. What you do is you like lift, try not to burn your hand, but you can lift your petals and then just put it, your heat gun to the side and the petals will start to curl up on their own. And that's about all the time I have because I'm over 10 minutes now, but you get the idea. You just want to make sure you dry it until it's totally dry and then you have a beautiful Prima Rose. So thanks for watching everybody. Bye.